So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the trends that are leaving us in 2023. So these are the things that maybe were in style before and they are just out. And then I'm going to talk about what's replacing them. So what are some of the trends and the kinds of things that we will be seeing in 2023? Now, having said that, I'm also going to note which trends you'll see me following in 2023 as a 46 year old woman and it probably won't be all of them, I'll just tell you that. So remember, this channel is all about glowing up, transformative skincare, flawless makeup, and a lifestyle to match. If that resonates with you, hit subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. I want you to know when I post future videos. So these are all the trends that are going away in 2023. So one of the things that's leaving in 2023, believe it or not, is contour. People are just getting tired of it. We instead see blush taking center stage this year and I'm talking about more like wraparound blushes, softer, more softer, pinker colors even in contours. And we know we've seen Bobbi Brown come out with her uh, Dusty Rose. Jones Road has had a Dusty Rose for a long time. We're gonna see these kinds of contours, these more pink contours kind of taking center stage in 2023. That doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to leave my contour behind, but it is something that is passing in 2023 and people are getting tired of watching those video. Well, I should say they're still going to watch the TikTok contour videos. People like seeing those for some reason, but the actual contouring, we're seeing it go in a different way. And one of the ways that contour is changing in 2023 is not just that it's kind of leaving us and being replaced a little bit blush, but we're also seeing seeing a lot of what's called underpainting. So underpainting is huge right now. Underpainting is where you put on your contour, you put on your blush, and you put it on before you put on your foundation, and then you apply a thin layer of foundation and then your, your uh, highlighters and then your setting powders. This is kind of the way in which this is kind of the way that contour is going this year. Underpainting is not new. Many makeup artists say that they do it. I know I've seen a lot of makeup artists on TikTok doing this trend now. I have to say, I absolutely love this trend. I've been doing it myself. I've been going in with the Tarte Liquid Contour. I've been using the NARS um, Cream Blush with it and I've been setting it and I've been using the uh, cream highlighters. I absolutely love the way this looks. I think it looks more natural. It looks very pretty. It just kind of looks like you have an inward glow. So we all we also see this these launches of all these cream contours, cream blushes, cream highlighters or liquid highlighters. These are what is replacing the kind of powder versions that were so popular up until the end of 2022. I also should say that not only does it give you a nice glow, but it tends to stay put all day. And that's kind of one of the things about under painting that I like so much is that not only does it look more natural, not only does it look like you're just naturally sculpted, but it also lasts throughout the day. So it doesn't really wear off as easily. I'm so happy with the way that, that underpainting is wearing and I'm the look I'm doing right now today is underpainting. So I have, I did do the underpainting technique for this video and I'll have to do a video showing you how I underpaint and how I achieve the look that I achieve with makeup. So while we're talking about underpainting, I think we should mention that healthy, fresh faces are kind of what's being, what will dominate 2023. And this doesn't mean that women are no longer going for makeup. It's just that we're seeing a return to more natural looking and that's where the underpainting comes in, right? It's this idea you can really achieve a more natural, less makeup look, but still have the contour, still have the blush, but you're doing it in a way that it looks more like it's part of your face, like a fresher face look. So gone is though, gone are those trends with the heavy, heavy makeup, lot that full glam look is kind of going out this year. So another thing, another thing that is leaving us in 2023 is the kind of really thick brows. And if you know anything about brows, 2021 was like, I mean, the thick brow was in. 
I even kind of drew my brows a little thicker in 2021. I'm kind of going more thin, a little bit straighter. That's the kind of brow that is trending in 2023. Laminated brows are still in. I don't think laminated brows are gonna go anywhere and that's where you comb your brows up like I have right here. And I use, so brow wax is still gonna be in. You still want groomed brows. They're just gonna be thinner. They're gonna be straighter. They're not gonna have so much of an arch. Lighter brows, um, especially lighter at the front and lighter in the sides, those are really in. Even a bleached brow is in right now. That's really, that comes from the runway. I don't think it's gonna find itself into mainstream or at least I hope it doesn't find itself into mainstream because I'm not gonna be bleaching my brows anytime soon. But the bleached brows are in in certain circles. And I would say like influencers, uh, models, actors and actresses, uh, celebrities, they're kind of going for that uh, lighter brow and actually full on bleach brow. Now, I should say that now, if you want the bleach brow, if you wanna try the look and see if it looks good on you, there's a whole bunch of makeup that's being launched that's supposed to look like bleached brows. So that's really cool because you don't have to take the plunge and actually bleach your brows. You can do it with makeup. So I'll have to show, I'll have to highlight some of those products. Maybe we'll have to try the bleach brow look. Might be kind of a fun video. So that's something to stay tuned. For the other thing that's leaving us in 2023, heavy foundations, matte foundations. People are going more for serum foundations, lighter foundations, ones that you can see the skin through a little bit better, sheer coverage. And I have to say that I have been doing this too. I switched from a full coverage foundation to a medium coverage foundation, and I like it so much better. And who knows, I might plunge for a light coverage foundation. It's hard when you have oily skin. The lighter foundations don't stay on as long. So that's really why I opt for a more long wear full coverage foundation. But I do see myself kind of venturing out of that and moving towards a more medium coverage foundation, even a lighter coverage foundation. So I'm kind of liking this and I'm playing around with foundations. So I'm gonna have to do a few foundation videos because hey guys, I have found a couple of new foundations that are phenomenal and they are medium coverage foundations. So keep, stay tuned because I will be putting out some videos on foundations that I'm trying in, the, in 2023. Because like I said, I wanna branch out. I wanna try the more medium and lighter coverage foundations. So I'll take you on that journey with me a little bit as we go through 2023. So one of the things that's also in in 2023 is darker lip liner than your lipstick or your uh, lip gloss. Now, having said that, this is a trend that comes from the 90s. So I don't know if you guys, so <laughs> I should say, this is a total spinoff of the 90s. Y'all, I am totally in my element here. I used to shade my lips with like a light brown or an auburn and I'd fill it in with a um, kind of shimmery lipstick in the center and I'd have that real stark on the outside. That is coming back in style, believe it or not. So lip liners that are a shade or two lighter or darker than your lip color are in. A frosted lipstick with dark lip liner, that's back in too. That's straight from the 90s. I know because in the 90s, that's what I was doing. Just wearing lip liner on your lips without anything and just kind of shading your lips in with lip liner, that is also in style. Again, a spillover from, guys, this stuff was in style when I was in high school. What's going on? Why are trend, why do, why do we do this? It's so weird. I don't know why we do this, but we do. Things go out and then they come back in. So that is back in. I am totally in my element here. The frosted look with the um, darker lip liner. That's what I'm wearing today. So I'm actually loving this trend. I think it's a fun. I always loved the way my lips looked back then like this. So I think it's, uh, it's gonna be fun for me. It's like reliving my youth. I love it. Another thing that's in style in 2023 is the bold matte lip. And then when I say bold, I mean bold. I mean reds, I mean mauves, I mean browns, berries, even hot, like bright pinks and peaches, things that pop out, especially with clean, fresh skin, a groomed brow, a little bit of mascara. 
that is what's in this kind of 90s natural look. Think supermodel bombshell, right? The, you know, darker lips, bolder lips with like, you know, nice clean groomed brow and a, and a little bit of mascara. This is what is trending at this moment. So NYX, uh, Maybelline, MAC, Fenty, Estee Lauder, they've all launched, all of them have launched some kind of matte lip color. So these are really in style right now. And when we say matte, when I say matte, I don't mean dry matte. I mean kind of like a cream matte, a soft cream matte. That is what is in style right now. Another thing that's coming in style are lip balms. So I think Tarte released their Maracuda. I'm, I'm, I don't think, I don't think I'm saying that right, but they just released a lip balm as well. That's almost like a lipstick. So those are also in right now. Glosses, it seems are kind of trending out. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop wearing glasses, but you know, I love my matte lipsticks, so I'm super pumped about matte lips being in this year because I plan to take advantage of that. Couple of other things. So multi-dimensional glows are in, so putting on your highlighter, doing a liquid highlighter, and then putting your powder on top that it just gives you this nice like kind of shimmer effect without looking too like shimmery. I know it's so weird, it's hard to explain, but putting on highlighter, right? Underpainting the highlighter and then putting your powder on top of highlighter is what is in style. It just gives you this kind of like, it looks like a glow, but it's not really glowy. It's kind of more mattified. That is called multi-dimensional glow such a word for the multi-dimensional glow. And this is what is in style, guys. And I'm telling you, as somebody who has oily skin, I love me some multi-dimensional glow because, right, it looks all nice and glowy and highlighted. My skin does not highlight very well. I have to put powder over my highlighter or it just really looks like I have a lot of texture. So this is a trend for you textured skin, oily skin people right? This is a trend for you. Get on this because it does look beautiful. It makes your face look fresh, but it's not too shiny. So multi-dimensional glow. Another thing that's in, and this is for hair. This is the side part is in. Okay. So big waves, lots of volume is in. Think nineties supermodel, you know, Cindy Crawford. So that big hair, that kind of flips over, that is in style. Another thing that's in style with hair is copper hair. So I'm in style right now, because <laughs> I have red hair. So red hair is in style. It's something that a lot of people are trying to get. They're getting on the bandwagon, getting their hair colored. Super cool, because finally my hair color is in style. So I do like that. Having said all this, remember, it's really about what you like, what looks good on you. You don't have to follow every single trend, but it is nice to freshen up your look every so often so that you don't get stuck in certain areas eras or get stuck in a certain um, style because it can definitely age you a bit. Um, having said that, so the trends I'm getting on board with are thinner eyebrows. I'm not going to stop brushing them up. I love the way they look brushed up. I like the individual hair looks. Not going to get rid of that, but I am going to go thinner on my eyebrows. Another thing that I'm going to definitely do, I have jumped on the bandwagon. The side part, I love it. I think it adds like extra volume to your hair. I really like the new hair trends this year. So I'm jumping on those bandwagons. Another thing that I'm doing, I definitely love the underpainting, multi-dimensional glow, stuff like that. Definitely getting in. You won't see me bleaching my brows anytime soon. You won't see me wearing really thick smudged eyeliner anytime soon. And you probably won't see me wearing a super light serum foundation anytime soon. But some of the other trends are definitely worth paying attention to and worth checking out and maybe trying out just to see how you like them. So there you have it. Those are the trends, what's coming in style in 2023 and what's leaving us in 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time on Globe with Shelley.